But we start today with the biggest story, perhaps, out of Buffalo. And, of course, you know, nowadays, social media becomes stories, right? Oftentimes, we make them into things that they're not, but that's what we do. That's why the Internet exists, right? We wouldn't be as preoccupied with the Internet the way we are if it wasn't for filling our brains, our eyes, our ears with things that are, you know, pretty much more or less utter nonsense, but they're entertaining, right? Cole Beasley was definitely a topic of conversation all last year for reasons that many would argue weren't positive, right? Cole Beasley, one of the only NFL players last year, one of the more prominent NFL players last year, did not get vaccinated. He had a down year last year compared to the way he played the year before where he was an all-pro. And the Bills decide to let him go in the offseason here. And based on the way the wide receiver room is panning out right now, we're hearing things out of training camp, things I've seen personally, things I've heard just from Friday night. The Bills wide receiver core is absolutely crushing it. Isaiah McKenzie stepping up into the role that uh, Cole Beasley leaves behind. He seems to be killing it there. So why am I talking about Cole Beasley? Well, today he gets in a skirmish on Twitter with some Bills fans about his departure. Now, this is news because Cole Beasley has not spoken on his departure from Buffalo since he was released from the team. This is the first time that he has touched on the subject. He's been radio silent since. And I am constantly on this show preaching about culture, right? How great the culture in Buffalo is, how much respect I have for Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott, Josh Allen. It seems at least once a week I have a story to share where my feelings are backed up, right? So when I hear stories to the contrary, I find it interesting, especially from a former player, especially from a player who, when brought into Buffalo, was singing Buffalo's praises compared to the previous organization he was with, quote-unquote, America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. So today, Cole Beasley on Twitter, this is what happened. This was the, uh, the situation. A player, or not, excuse me, a, a fan had tweeted to Cole Beasley, you know, saying that, he, I don't know whether it was a, he was an embarrassment, something like that. Yeah, right here. The guy, of course, whoever it was, th that's the Internet for you. You can delete things, right? But it lives forever. The Internet lives forever. So as you can see, this tweet was deleted, but Cole Beasley responded to it. That's how it kind of caught some fire here. So I'm assuming whoever commented here said that Cole Beasley was an embarrassment. Cole Beasley responds saying, it's never embarrassing playing 10 years in the league. You try. Yeah, no kidding. Right. So Robbie here, Robbie two, uh, 219 responds saying that that person who had commented to Cole Beasley wasn't speaking on behalf of all Bills fans. Obviously, of course, nothing Cole Beasley did uh, throughout his career was an embarrassment. But this tweet, however, it did stand out to me only because out of all the things happening in Buffalo recently, you almost never hear of anything negative. That's why it's been so easy for me and others to sing Buffalo's praises, not just because of the success on the field, but because of the way they have carried themselves in almost every situation over the last handful of years. So Cole Beasley responds to Robbie, and he says, I appreciate the fans who supported me. The most fun I've ever had playing football was in Buffalo. My family and I will never forget the memories. Love all of my teammates there. I won't regret leaving, though. Things changed within the organization. It was time for me to move on. Later on down here, or maybe it was up more. Let me find the tweet. Someone responds essentially saying that he doesn't quite understand why Cole Beasley has those thoughts, those feelings. Why would Cole Beasley say that he won't regret leaving? Especially prior to saying that, he goes on to say that it's the most fun he ever had playing right here. David says changes for the worst. Everyone talks highly of Bean, QB and Josh Allen became elite team turned into Super Bowl favorites. What could have went wrong? Cole Beasley responds. All y'all here is the show. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but if I can read between the lines, I'm guessing what Cole Beasley is saying is we don't know what's going on inside the locker room. He does. And all us fans know is what we're told now, more or less. That's true. But when I'm constantly being told one thing, and that one thing is essentially all of the good things that can happen in an organization happening in Buffalo, I'm going to believe it. And then I see examples time and time again. If you watched Rico and I last week on, on our show, I rattled off, what, five, six instances over the last few months where the Bills players 
management and the organization as a whole had just come out in a way that was just unprecedented as far as representing the Bills community, uh, representing the fan base, the organization. The list goes on and on. So it kind of sticks out to me when Cole Beasley says something like that, especially because I loved having Cole Beasley on the team. He by far had his best year of his career as an NFL player in Buffalo. And I don't really think there was much ill will towards Cole Beasley when he left. Now, of course, there was a handful of Bills fans who had a problem with him. He's the one who went on to say that the only place he gets booed in the NFL is at home. But we know that nobody's booing Cole Beasley. They're just chanting bees. The whole thing was very head scratching. But then I, then I got down to it, right? Then you get down to what really happened, right? Cole Beasley did not get vaccinated. And all of a sudden, that's kind of where the tide turned. That, to me, was the biggest head scratcher. It wasn't because of the play, necessarily. It wasn't because of him, the person. He just didn't get vaccinated. He was on a short list of NFL players who didn't. And all of those players on that list faced scrutiny all year long. Let's remember... Aaron Rodgers, of course, who to this day still since that moment where he said he was immunized has been in the spotlight for doing very odd things. Just recently, he was on a podcast discussing his ayahuasca experience, changed his life. So now Aaron Rodgers grows his hair down to the middle of his back. He gets a gigantic tattoo on his forearm. He's taking shrooms. Things have changed. Cole Beasley, things changed when that particular predicament happened. Let's look at Kyrie Irving in the NBA. His career has never been the same since he decided to not get vaccinated. Now, I don't care what you do or what you don't do. Those were those players' personal choices. But to me, it seems like Cole Beasley is levying the blame of his personal choices on the organization. When he says, all y'all hear is the show, when somebody comes out to say the Bills are ascending, right? Brandon Bean has done great things in Buffalo. Josh Allen's becoming elite. To me, how can Cole Beasley look at that and then go on to say that it's you guys don't really know what's going on. Well, I feel like we do have a good idea as to what's going on. There really hasn't been anything to the, cr- the contrary. that The Bills have been nothing short of a incredibly run franchise over the last couple of seasons, right? So for Cole Beasley to come out and say that, to me, it was very... It was, it was concerning in, in regard to looking at him as a player. He today is still not on a roster. There are plenty of teams in the NFL right now who could use a wide receiver. Believe me, look around the league. There are tons of teams right now who are hurting at the wide receiver position. And I understand Cole Beasley is getting up there in age, but he's still good enough to contribute to a team. You have to wonder if his personal choices weigh into that and the way that he went about it last season. He was a distraction. And once again, I don't care what you do and what you don't do, what you believe in, what you don't believe in. That's on you. But you can't blame anybody else for your personal choices. It was the NFL mandate in itself. Cole Beasley decided to do his own thing. And things definitely seemed to sever at that particular moment. So I have to wonder, is it really something going on in the organization that Cole Beasley is trying to shine light on as to why he wanted to leave? Or is it just Cole Beasley blaming somebody else for his departure and for the fact that he is no longer on an active roster at this moment in time. I would understand if other people had a similar thought process to what Cole Beasley is saying, but we have not heard anything quite like this at all in the last couple of years. And I'd have to imagine guys like Von Miller wouldn't want to come and be a part of this, Jamison Crowder, Roger Saffold. If there were actually problems, I think we would know about it. There's plenty of people tapped in that would be able to, shine light on whether or not there was something involved within the organization to make it seem like it's not what it seems like on the surface. I'm not buying it. 201 in here right now on a Monday night. That is what I am talking about. Make sure to hit that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because like I said, we are one month away from football and we are going to have content coming at you at a rapid pace. You think we've been churning it out during the offseason? Just wait until the regular season hits. If you subscribe, you do get notifications for all the awesome stuff that we put out here at the Buffalo Fanatics. So make sure to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. So I figured I'd touch on that a little bit just because I, you know, I I feel like it's kind of like when someone talks crap about your mom or your dad or your sister or your sibling. Right. And I don't know if Colby is loose necessarily, necessarily talking crap, but when I see somebody trying to say that, and and maybe of course it's the homerism coming out of you, but when I try to, when I see somebody saying anything other than, you know, the bills are, are doing 
great. I mean, if I had a reason to believe otherwise, I would definitely be the first to admit it, right? But for what, for what I, to take it at face value, it just doesn't really make much sense. It just doesn't make much sense. And I wish Cole Beasley wouldn't go on Twitter and, and, and do that because it seemed like he did have a good experience in Buffalo up until that situation. I just wish things like that didn't make their way onto social media because it, just, it looks good for nobody. It looks good for nobody. I have no problem with Cole Beasley whatsoever at all. I just wish you're not talking to fans about, oh, you, you know, I won't regret leaving. Okay, well, that, I got fine. Great thing going on in Buffalo. I feel like anybody on planet Earth who's a professional football player would regret not being a part of that team if they had the chance to. But I guess that's just me. 